Alright, this, this is how I lock VTEC on a V16 head. I'm sure a lot of other uh, VTEC cylinder heads are quite similar. So, in order to lock VTEC, I have the uh, a set of rocker arms right here. You have a left center and the right, um, and the VTEC one is going to be right here. So, we take it apart. There are pins on each one of these uh, rocker arms. So. You have one right there, another one right there, and then one right there. So these two are different sizes, and then this one is spring actuated. Okay, so there we go. <clears throat> now, to lock VTEC, we have to take this pin out, and we can do that by using a magnet. Just lift up like that and then what I do is take a piece of a Lego so this is from a, a Lego kit just extra piece laying around so you want something this small that thick maybe something made out of plastic so it doesn't mar anything and just throw it in there that will act as a spacer so you put the original pin back in and that way it'll stick out like that put it together and then boom so that's just one way of locking VTEC whenever you're doing uh, clearance checks uh, like I am, I'm about to do the valve to valve clearance check um, and you'll probably need to do this when you're degreeing cams as well. So there we go, that's how I lock VTEC.